rugged wilderness that makes it seem so epic. I know that's a word that gets used casually, but this place is epic. Sorry dude, we just went on standby. Oh really? Okay, no worries. Sink, sink. Good. So I was really nervous about doing this video. Uh, Kicking Horse is by far one of my favorite places on the planet. I always look at this place as being one of the best places for stunning, amazing, incredible views and rugged wilderness that makes it seem so epic. <laughs> I know that's a word that gets used casually, but this place is epic. And that's really what I wanna show in this video. I wanted to do it justice because my mountain bike skills aren't gonna be the best. <laughs> they never are. Um, I've been clear about that on this channel. I, I shouldn't love it as much as I do. Uh, it was the first place I broke my collarbone, one of three collarbones I've broken. And it's just one of those places that uh, when the good times are good, they're the best in the world. And when the rough times are there, you still get to appreciate the raw epicness of this place. When you're at the top of that gondola and really understanding that this is kind of a one in a million place. Um, that's coming from a guy that's been to New Zealand and this place always takes my breath away. And I wanted that to come across in the video. So I'm gonna do my very best with one day of footage to show you that. And here we go, let's check it out. Probably sticking to blues and greens. I'm on my own and it's the end of a long road trip. You don't want to really be pushing yourself too much then. But this is Kicking Horse Mountain Resort, so it's really good. I'm staying down here next to the gondola at the Glacier Lodge. They have a bunch of precautions in place for the COVID. As I'm going up and looking at trail forks and getting an idea of where I want to come down, right? So um, there's a couple of runs I'd really like to hit. Um, this one looks really good, this Rangoon. Uh, it's really burmy and they pop out of the trees here. You can see it from the uh, gondola. But yeah, once you get to the top here, what you have is you have two different directions. One is this red double black line. It's about a nine kilometer traverse along some pretty insane ridges. I've never ridden it, but I've uh, ski toured by it. And most people, you're gonna head uh, bikers left here. And it's called, it's a 10. And it runs right along this ridge line, which is intimidating and kind of loose, so just take your time going across it. But uh, yeah, take that down and then what you're going to get to is this big open area. And this open area has a ton of different little fields you can run through. I'll throw some drone footage up of it now. But yeah, there's tons of little lines through here. There's a nice big long green line all the way through. And then it goes to Magic Carpet Ride, which I am a big fan of, so I want to do that one. And then there's one called Super Bird. And this one takes you all the way to the bottom. And it's got nice little tables and everything on it. So I'm going to try and make my way to there too. Starting at the top and make my way all the way down to Super Burn down here. And that should be a lot of fun. I'll do that lap a few times today. Again, I'm on my own, so I'm not going to push myself too hard or try anything above my uh, abilities, especially this late in the trip. But yeah, absolute bump for it. So surreal for me because I'm so used to skiing in these trees and in this area. Hey, doing, buddy? 
<laughs> Thank you for what you do. Nice. favorite place is here at the base of Kicking Horse. It's just a little ways away from the chairlift. It's called Winston's Bar and Bistro. I think it had a different name before, but uh, it's just a little ways off and they always have good food. And before COVID, always had a lot of people partying and stuff, it was really fun. But yeah, just finished up with a good trail ride down near Cedar Lakes there. And nice hot shower, which is very nice after, uh, yeah, all the camping I was doing <laughs> the last few days. So that was uh, very welcome. And yeah, looking for some good food, good eats here, and uh, yeah, that's it there. So if you ever come to Kicking Horse and you're at the base looking for somewhere to eat, Winston. <laughs>